Greetings, my name is Aeroshot. Welcome to the gameplay. This is some Black Ops 2. As you know, as you can tell by the title, because you're a smart human being, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> We're using the scar. I'm using the scar with the red dot attachment or the reflex, as I like to call it this game. And I'm smacking some face around. Oh, look at the boyfriend camping. And I crouch down, and the husband gets beastified real quick. And, uh,. I'm surprised, man. I haven't talked about gameplays in a while, and I kind of miss it because gameplay is what you know. I don't, I don't make just vlogs, man. I make gaming commentaries, and it's been a while since I talked about gameplay. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about the gameplay here. I want to talk about what it takes to get a flawless game. A flawless game is this. It's kind of. It sounds kind of bad, actually. Like, oh, I'm flawless. I'm cool. You know, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I get it good in a video game. That makes me perfect in all aspects of life. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I got 31 kills and zero deaths, which I thought was pretty sweet. So I upload it. Cause I only upload my sweet gameplays. I'm not gonna upload my bad gameplays. Um, so it's a 31 to know. And uh, there's a few things that go into getting a really, really good game, a flawless game, for example. I think what you need is a weapon that you're comfortable with. Obviously, you're probably not going to get a flawless with something you've used for the first time. So having a really solid weapon is a no-brainer. You want to use something that you're good at, you know you can win gunfights with. And uh, second, the second thing you really need is you have to be kind of decent. <laughs> you have to know where people are coming from. Because um, Call of Duty is all the game about flow. Um, it's go to this spawn, go to that spawn. As you can see, we're absolutely um, deconstructing these guys' lives right now. We are destroying them in the most beautiful way. <laughs> this course 35 to 5. Um, so you want to know where your enemy is. Location and intelligence is everything. If you have the intelligence on the enemy, you are that much better. So as you can see, there's there's a VSAT. Is that what it's called in this game? The Blackbird. The Dorito chips, as Thunder likes to call it. Uh, that thing's up, so I'm able to, you know, know where they are, so I get the upper hand on them. Um, so I see this guy's right here, and what do I do? I jump shot him right over there. He's head glitching, but it doesn't matter. So I look to my right, and I know this guy's going right there, so I shoot him right in the back for an easy, easy quick kills. And I, here I go. I pick up the scar, and I still got that PDW rocking. But the thing is, guys, yes, you can get flawless games and whatever. But flawless, going flawless isn't everything. To me, personally, my favorite thing to do is I love the games where... Because, let okay, first of all, this is not competition. It's not, it's fun to play, don't get me wrong, but this isn't a competitive game. These guys obviously are not the greatest players ever. Um, and, you know, that's what most COD gameplays are made of. But I really like playing Call of Duty with my friends, and I love playing just going into lobbies and trying to get as many wins as possible that's what fun is to me um you know this th it was fun getting this game don't get me wrong but going flawless isn't everything but if you do want to go flawless like i said you have to you have to know the map you have to know where enemies are coming from and you just have to get lucky you have to be at the right place at the right time that means you probably don't want to go crazy you want to take it a little bit more slow but who wants slow that's boring so Look at this guy. There's a guy right here in this corner who's taking it slow, and I slowly rip his face with my bullets. So, you thought that's the end of the gameplay and the commentary, but no, I got a beastacular <laughs> little ending to a clip. White Boy Sinister had one of these. Um, it's called the best or great way to end a game, and that's exactly that. I dodged the bouncing Betty, and I take this guy out. And the weapon I'm using right now, this is the Peacekeeper, and I got the reflex sign on it. I'm I'm big on the reflex sights. Reflex sights uh, help my game out a lot, especially in Black Ops 2. Uh, you know, I, I'm looking forward to Advanced Warfare. I'm looking forward to uh, bringing back an old series. My first videos ever were the Unconventional Warfare series, right? I use these weird weapons and I talk about the weapon and stuff of that nature. So I'm probably going to go back to that. Uh, so stay tuned for Advanced Warfare. That's something you can look forward to. That's something I'm looking forward to in the future. Making some good old crazy gameplay so hope you enjoyed it guys thank you so much for watching and uh that guy got headshotted my name is arrow shot and i am over and out